All right, guys, today we have the Ruger 5.7. So this is one that I've always wanted since the day it was announced. I knew I would eventually get one of these. It took me a little longer than I planned, but I'm excited because we finally just got it. So this gun shoots an interesting caliber. This is the 5.7 by 28, and you can see it looks like a small rifle round, almost like a miniature 5.56. And for a handgun caliber, it's very unique. It's impressive. Obviously it has pros and cons like anything else, but it's screaming fast. It can defeat body armor. A lot of things that, you know, regular handgun calibers can't really do. And obviously FN is kind of the OG of the 5.7. They've got the FN 5.7 pistol, the P90, PS90. All those guns shoot the same caliber, but they're all extremely expensive if I'm being honest. And thankfully Ruger came out with this not too long ago and it's quite a bit cheaper. So the ammo is a different story. It's still very expensive. This is just regular Federal American Eagle and it's like a dollar a round and then it goes up from there you can get some really expensive ammo which i don't really have any interest in but we're going to shoot this thing i haven't shot it yet these are going to be the very first shots actually i've never shot the 5.7 at all so i'm excited to see how it feels Oh yeah. <laughs> so the recoil impulse is unique. You can definitely feel it, but it's super comfortable. I would say less than a nine millimeter for sure. But now that we have the slide lock back, I'll give you guys a close up look. You can see how thin that barrel is. It looks weird if I'm being honest, um, but it's just a 22 caliber bullet. So obviously the barrel is gonna be pretty thin. The gun is extremely nice. The thing that stuck out to me the most is the sights. I doubt you guys are gonna be able to see this if the camera will even focus on it, but that front sight is so bright that it almost looks like a battery powered green dot. You literally can't miss it. I'll go ahead and put the slide forward so you guys can get a close up look at the gun again. It has some slide cuts on top and it's got an external thumb safety, which I'm not really used to. I don't use thumb safeties too often. We'll see if this one gets in the way. I don't think it's going to. And then the grip is pretty long from front to back, but it's super thin. The magazine holds 20 rounds which is kind of unique to the 5.7 because it's such a small bullet, you can get a lot of rounds in the magazine. So I actually have another one here. I don't want to shoot too many rounds at the steel, but I think I got eight or 10 more in here. Let's shoot it. I don't remember the last time I was this sweaty. It's 130 degrees. So I guess we're testing out the stippling with sweaty hands. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Man, if the ammo was more available for this and it wasn't so expensive, I would literally shoot this thing every day. Probably the sweetest feeling handgun I've ever shot. Let's try some bowling pins. meant to do that. So I've seen people shoot bowling pins before and from what I've seen, they look like they're pretty bulletproof. The 5.7 can defeat soft body armor. So let's see what it does to that bowling pin. All right, so it looks like it went in right there and then it's kind of hard to tell, but it almost looks like that might be an exit hole. I don't think that was there before and it does line up with our entrance hole. I want to try to hit it more towards the middle. All right, going towards the bottom. I don't know why I'm so far away, but I guess just to make life more difficult. Perfect. All right, so there's our second entrance hole right there in the middle and it's kind of hard to tell once again, but there is a little bulge right there and it's kind of split open. So it could be an exit hole or it could have stopped that bullet and just bulged it out a little bit. Either way, pretty close if it didn't go all the way through. But I gotta say, it's kind of impressive how well bowling pins hold up to gunfire. I would have never expected that. So I assume most of you have probably seen the 22 TCM videos on my channel. It's kind of a direct competitor to the 5.7 and originally I was gonna compare the two in this video, but I shot one round out of the 22 TCM and the shell casing got stuck, like really stuck in the barrel. I poked it out, shot it again, and the exact same thing happened. So I'm gonna try to fix the 22 TCM and then in the future we will do a video comparing in the two and see if we get a clear winner. All right, now I got a few bowling pins set up there. Let's see if we can bowl a strike and knock them all down. Nope. There we go. 
All right, y'all, since the 5.7 is such a high velocity, flat shooting pistol round, I imagine it probably does pretty well at long range. So we're back at like 100 yards. I just want to see if we can hit that steel plate, which for a handgun, 100 yards is pretty far away. Let's see. That front sight's covering the entire target. Got it. I can't tell if I'm hitting it or not. I don't think so. There we go. There we go. All right, so I was a little too high, actually. I had to bring the sights down towards the bottom of the target and hit it every time. I can hear it smacking the backstop. I wasn't sure if I was hitting the target or not because it's not very loud when it hits the steel. I got five more rounds. Let's try it again. This is so tough with pistols because your sights look like they're moving like crazy. Ah, I went four for five, missed the last one. Damn it. <laughs> that ain't bad for 100 yards away with a little handgun though. Well, since this gun is so good at penetrating stuff, let's try some computer paper. Super thick, super dense, obviously really tough to get through. I have three bricks, which I would imagine is more than enough to stop the 5.7, but I don't know. They say it penetrates like a rifle, so let's find out. I moved up a little closer because there's no reason to be 25 yards away. Let's see what it does. So the first two are still standing, the third one fell over, which means it could have went all the way to the last one, but I'll be shocked if it made it to that third brick of paper. All right, so there's our third brick of paper that fell down. You can see it is untouched and there's no exit hole on the back of the second. There is an entrance hole into the second. Obviously there's our exit hole on the first and our tiny little entrance hole on the first. So our bullet is somewhere in this one. And again, it did not come out the back. So I believe these are like 40 grain bullets and although it's screaming fast and can penetrate really well, it's just not heavy enough. And like I said, it would have been shocking if it made it to that third brick of paper, but penetrating one and stopping in the second is still pretty impressive, especially for that tiny little bullet. All right, let's try this 3A body armor panel. So hopefully you can see that right there on the back where it says 3A. This was actually sent to me by Bulletproof Everyone. For that video I did a while back on bulletproof clothing that kind of disguises your body armor. So go check them out. I really appreciate their support. We got more videos on that stuff coming up as well. Awesome company, awesome website. They got really cool stuff, but let's see if the 5.7 can really defeat this 3A body armor. Now keep in mind that not all body armor is created equal. And from what I understand, what the company told me, this is pretty good for 3A body armor. It can stop calibers that it's not really rated to. So we'll see if the 5.7 goes through it. There's also different ammo out there. And I know for a fact the 5.7 can defeat 3A body armor, but whether or not it'll go through this, I don't know. Let's find out. I'm gonna go for that bottom right corner where there's no bullet holes yet. I can't see the screen on this camera at all. It's so bright. But that right there is where the 5.7 went in and it went straight through. There's our hole in the paper. There's our exit hole on the body armor. Let me see. Nope, it did not come out the back of the paper, but again, you can see it went pretty deep into that computer paper. So 5.7, ripped through the 3A body armor, no problem at all. Pretty wicked. So before we wrap it up, I've been dying to do a quick mag dump out of this thing since the very first shot. So I got 10 rounds in the magazine here. I wanna put all these on the steel and see how fast we can shoot this. Little hiccup on the trigger, but man. <laughs> if I wouldn't have had that, it would have been a really quick 10 rounds. This thing is freaking sweet. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video on the Ruger 5.7 pistol. Like I said, I know now why 5.7 fanboys exist. Once you shoot one of these, it's just unique. There's really not another caliber that I've ever shot that feels quite like the 5.7. It's not as loud as I thought it would be. The 22 TCM is way louder. Um, that might be because of the design or the barrel length, you know, a lot of things. But either way, it's not too loud. The recoil is extremely soft. It's, you know, a powerful caliber. It's got pros and cons like anything else, but man, the Ruger 5.7 is a win in my book. So again, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, guys, please let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Poof, poof, poof.